We just arrived at a room and look at this. Oh my god, this is so cute. Having the dream is easy, making it come true is hard. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> this is our room, guys, here in Barcelona. We're staying at the Cotton House. It's so chic. Look at all these illustrations. Super cute. We're staying at a cotton room. Everything is cotton, 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 cotton. day here in Barcelona and I have just finished getting ready. Slater has been patiently waiting for me for about 30 minutes and look I even ironed my pants. I think I look pretty darn cute. <laughs> oh good thing I came back because I left my phone so now I have it with me. If you guys are wondering my phone case yes it has a sling. It is from the Hong Kong based company called Wheat and I love it for travel because it's super convenient. I can't tell you how many people have asked me where I got this. It is from Wheat or the brand We Eat Avocado Toast and now Slater and I are about to eat some avocado toast. We're gonna head down to breakfast here at the Cotton House Hotel and I'm super excited for breakfast. It is one of my favorite things to do ever ever eat hotel breakfast and since the hotel is super nice things are looking up but wait there's more mm. this is the stuff of my dreams guys i am legit at my happiness coffee it's called Martias. Martias. I asked him if I could buy the beans because it's so good. This is my second cup. This is my third plate of food. I'm so happy. Slater is shook at how much I can eat right now. But honestly, I'm so happy. Like, I could stay here the whole day. Back in the room because the sir is <laughs> guapo. And this is their little vanity area. So right when you enter the room, there's a sink vanity area. And this is what I showed you earlier with a surprise that I think is so sweet and cute. And I've also put in all of my travel skincare here. And no, this is not sponsored, but yeah, that is what I'm using this whole trip. It seems like it's sponsored because it's all the same. But I think now, strangely, that it would be nice to use a skincare line like in its entirety because a lot of the times I mix different skincare brands and I'm not sure how the ingredients of my toner react with the ingredients of my serum with my moisturizer and so now I'm trying to do a, like a holistic approach to skincare and I'm trying to see what happens to my skin so far so good no foundation no breakouts and I'm happy Whoa, look at all these pigeons and they don't care they're just like walking with me on the street Whoa, this is crazy. The pigeon whisperer. <laughs> Instagram asawa, Instagram white. Nagihintay sa gilid while hubby is taking photos of the trees. <laughs> Who's the real Instagram asawa? We made it to Plaza Real, right? Plaza Real is the name of this place. I'm not so sure. Really? But it's super nice because it has palm trees. And around this little courtyard is all restaurants and places where you can drink and chill. Super nice. It's my first time here actually. And it is the concierge at our hotel who recommended it. I'm really happy to be here. 
I mean, Barcelona is so beautiful. I think Slater's really enjoying it too. This morning, they told us that in Barcelona, people usually have lunch at 2 p.m., dinner at about 9. They said, go to the bookery at morning time. Like, morning time? It's already 11 o'clock. And they're like, yeah, morning before 4 p.m. And Slater was like, this is my kind of town. <laughs> Team songs are Spain. I'm say team songs are Spain. You spin my head right. Hey, na ko ani niya. Me, sige daw. I challenge you to come up with a pun on the spot. Another one. Another one. What? No, you pressure me. Sus, sus. Bawal maging comedian. <laughs> Look at all these floating angels. I want to say demons. Floating, floating, looking at me downwards. He's happy. Look at that, crazy. Unique architecture. We're in the Gothic Quarter, and I think this is the cathedral already. So as you can see, the architecture is very, very different in this area. I don't think these are angels. They kind of look like scary creatures. This guy doesn't look like an angel to me. He looks really scary. Story of my life. The Asawa waiting for the Asawa to stop taking pictures. You guys all think that Slater is the Instagram husband who takes photos of me, but honestly, he takes photos of other people, not not of me. And I just waiting here on the side. Aquiles, our Filipino friend, said this would be the best meat I've ever tasted. Okay, go. The best meat you've ever tasted in your life? Something. Really? Good. Wow. Wow. Well, what is it called? I don't know. You don't even know what it's called? No. Morning guys, it is our second day here in Barcelona and it is looking a little bit gloomy outside. Forecast says it's gonna rain and we are gonna head over to breakfast. My favorite meal of the day and my favorite meal yet of Zero Trip. Breakfast at Cotton House Hotel is amazing. And then we will see where the day takes us. Self-service checkout at El Corte Inglés and I'm buying five of these for my dad. He loves these. One, two, three, four, five. My dad loves these. So, Slater and I made it to the beach. We are at Barcelona. The last time I was here, it was super dark and I was partying with my girls. So, it's nice to see the daytime. It looks like a, a beach. But we are in front of Escriba. I don't know how you pronounce it. Try to pronounce it though. Siringuito. Siringuito? And it's a very highly recommended restaurant. So I'm gonna try to get us a table right now. And we 
got a seat at the best table in the house because we're right beside the paella masters. <laughs> so this place is apparently known for really good paella. Definitely check out this place, guys. It's so, so good. Oh my god, two cutest grannies and all the pigeons for some reason are so drawn to them. <laughs> it's like the pigeons are following them home. Why? <laughs> To the chucheria, but there is a long line. So excited for some coffee and some churros. Finally, we walked so long, about like 25 minutes just to get here. Mr. Young, still shooting? <laughs> Me, still waiting? And we're still in the hotel and never left the hotel. <laughs> Excuse me, we did leave and we are back in the hotel because Slater did a little quick siesta. And I'm not gonna tell you the real reason why we had to come back. I needed to poop. <laughs> He needed to poop. We went back to the hotel, which is another amazing thing about this hotel. It's so centrally located. We were actually from Barceloneta and we wanted to go to Casa Mila or Casa Batlo, but we made a quick pip, pip we made a quick pit stop at the hotel and now we are on our way to Casa Mila before it closes at 8.30. It is 7.15 and after that we are gonna head to dinner at a Rume restaurant, which is a restaurant that my cousin Ryan recommended. And this time we made sure to make a reservation because the last time we we went to one of the places that he recommended, which was in Rome. We went to three different restaurants in one night and we were all turned down because we were fully booked. So that's a tip for you guys. If you're heading to a place that is highly visited, a very touristy location, definitely make sure you reserve your restaurants, especially if you're planning to dine at peak hours. All right, we made it to Casa Mila. Slater is already inside. It is raining outside. I have the umbrella. Can't see it, but uh, whew, we made it. Unfortunately for us, it's almost closing time, so we have to come back another day. Tomorrow, our flight is still in the afternoon, so hopefully, we can come back and take a visit. Blackberry mojito for me and Slater's very girly drink. What is it called? Something gin. Kerfis? Kerfir? Kerfis. It's a gin and tonic, and I'm having some vodka. We are at Rume Restaurant. It is a restaurant that my cousin recommended, and he, being such a good foodie, we made it all the way here. But the driver did tell us it was quite dangerous, so uh, maybe be better. Yeah, maybe be careful. Going out. Beef tartar for the mister. Sea green to talk to me. Sexy. <laughs> Uh, that rice, this is a roasted garlic home that we recommend to mix it with the rice. Oh. Thank you so much, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is our last day here in Barcelona and we are running around because we want to get a little bit more of the sights in. And last night we wanted to go to Casa Mila but it was around closing time and they recommended that we go today instead. So before we check out, we are almost all packed. That is my bag over there. This is Slater's to be packed items for later. We are gonna head to Casa Mila and see if we can get that out of the way. Um, Casa Mila is a house by Gaudi, and Gaudi, as you know, is one of the biggest designers, biggest architects in Barcelona. Like, Barcelona is also known to be the city of Gaudi, and since Slater is really into like architecture and design and everything, I think he will really enjoy it. So that's our agenda for today. Then we're gonna get lunch in, have a late lunch, I think, and then check out, and then finally head to San Sebastian. 
And we made it. Second attempt to go inside Casa Mila. This time we have our tickets ready. We bought them online, which is another trick that you guys might want to do. Saves you about two euros to enter. Wish us luck. And it's so amazing to see how Gaudi has really influenced Barcelona. Like even the tiles inside the house were custom built by him. And everything is inspired by nature. And now walking around the streets of Barcelona, you can see that the tiles on the streets are the same tiles that they use inside the house. It's super amazing. And like how, you know, like knobs, doorknobs like these, oh, you can see that, yeah. So even up to the doorknobs, everything was custom built in the house. Everything was so ergonomically, you know, they thought about everything. So the knobs were positioned a certain way because it was very ergonomic to hold it that way. Or the chairs were in a certain way because you're, you could put your hands on the sides or, you know, it was just, everything was so thought out. And uh, yeah, it was really amazing. No wonder he's like a king here. So these are the tiles I was talking about. That's the same inside and outside. I think that's so amazing to have the same city tiles as the tiles that you have in your house. El Nacional, making our way to one of my favorite interior design restaurants in the whole of Barcelona. And we have about uh, less than an hour, so we're gonna make it quick. Christophe, Cristal, nice here, no? Just like that, we're leaving Barcelona and off to a new destination, San Sebastián. I don't know why it's the face of San Sebastián. I'm super, super duper excited and I will see you guys in the next one.